to the playground. Hello everybody, we're here to talk about the Gravitonium. The Gravitonium is a very rare item that appears in Marvel Legends of S.H.I.E.L.D. from the first season, when we see that Dr. Franklin Hall is kidnapped to work with his former partner, the billionaire Ian Quinn, who wants to use the item for his own benefit. Hall was the first and perhaps the only one that theorized its existence, applications, and the way in which it affects gravitational fields. Quinn used the Gravitonium discovered in Malta to create devices based on the designs of Hull and also a machine that allowed to take advantage of its electromagnetic fields. During the shield intervention, Hull is consumed by the element and in season 5, spoiler alert, it is revealed that Quinn was also absorbed by it. After a short stay in the hands of Hydra, after which Ian is absorbed, the Gravitonium was transported in the cargo ship Principia to be taken to an installation in the Pacific Ocean. But a lightning bolt that falls on it retires the Gravitonium and generates a field that keeps it floating among the clouds. General Hale sends her mechanized androids to recover the Gravitonium and leaves a small amount on the ship to keep it in the air. Later, the agents recover the portion from the ship to be able to close the open dimensional crack due to the explosion of three monoliths. Okay, now we got with its properties and uses. Gravitonium GR, has unique gravitational properties. Its atomic number is 123, its mass is 308, well, that's not important. The Gravitonium will walk, I think, as a kind of empty dimension with the capacity to store in its interior any number of people or objects. I'll talk, we have never seen that it has absorbed an object that is not relevant. In the same way, it could unite or seal a dimensional crack like the one that occurred in the explosion of monoliths, in which the fear dimension was open. Indeed, Leo Fitz, my favorite character, was able to build a gravitational containment device to close the crack and save the world. Well done, Fitz. I'll talk before he had to practice a risky operation to return the powers to Daisy, but maybe we'll talk about that later. Oh, this is important. Daisy's vibration control powers are the only ones capable of manipulating the gravitonium without the danger of being absorbed. Also, Mag was able to get it out of the Principia with a plastic box. Hey, I say get it out not manipulate. After that in the fifth season, spoiler again, General Glenn Talbot got into the particle infusion chamber and absorbed the contents of the Gravitonium storage capsule, he could control the element at will, becoming Graviton. Whoa -ha, he, he, he. he can control the gravitational force of any single person, increase or diminish it, levitate and even absorb what he wants within himself. By absorbing the Gravitonium, the carrier called here as voices of the people absorbed by causing schizophrenia perhaps. Ruby Hale, the daughter of General Hale, also absorbed a little of the Gravitonium, but only at 8% began to manifest the negative effects, to the point of driving her crazy. It doesn't matter, she died. Current location, apparently all the Gravitonium we had known in season 1 and 5 was absorbed by Talbot, I talk the 8% that was in Ruby's body explode? Suppose so, or maybe it absorbed itself. As I said, it could walk as a pocket storage, a link to an alternate dimension. But in the final episode of the season, which by the way takes your emotions to the limit, Robin reveals to Graviton that there is another Gravitonium deposit under the city of Chicago. Graviton tries to absorb everything, destroying the city in its path. But Daisy's intervention prevents him from getting everything and before being absorbed by him, she injects a serum that gives her an incredible power boost. Graviton ends up being thrown into space, freezing slowly, in one of the most dramatic scenes of the whole series. A sad ending for those of us who met General Glenn Talbot. And that was it. If you want to know more about other interesting articles of the series or Marvel in general, information that you didn't know, impressive data, and join the hype, subscribe and activate the bell.
Make it sound by sharing the video to your friends and all the Marvel fans you know and always remember. We are the SHIELD.